Christmas Eve and Christmas Day fast approaching, it is time to put the finishing touches on my dining room. So today I will be adding the centerpieces to both of my tables and setting all the place settings before guests arrive to dine this season. So let's get to decorating. To get started today, I thought I would share with you a craft project, a little Christmas DIY that I'm doing for my centerpiece on my long table this year. My theme in here is Santa. So I thought it would be fun to add Santa's naughty and nice lists down the center of this long table with some garland and some candles. To do that, I'm actually making the naughty and nice lists this year. I typed these up on Canva and then I purchased some parchment paper from Amazon and just printed straight from my home printer. I have a Canon Pixma. You can print in different sizes and lengths of paper, which is really nice. So I printed this in long form. I then picked up these wood pieces at Hobby Lobby. I just painted the ends gold to go better with my design. And now I'm going to attach these to the ends of each of the parchment to create a scroll. I'm really creating two different scrolls because I have the naughty list and the nice list. try my best to link all of the supplies that I used for this DIY in the description today. I also wanted to mention that since I knew I was filming this for YouTube, I just made up the names and used some names of popular movie and TV characters, especially Christmas movies, to fill in my list. But if you were doing this project for a dinner party, you could always add your guests' names to the naughty or the nice list, and then when they arrive, let them see which list they landed on. I think that would be so much fun. Out in the snow, we do it in a very Christmas way. Now I'm going to add the centerpieces to both of my tables. On my long table here, I'm using a couple of pieces of garland that I've had in my collection for a few years now. I will also be adding in the naughty and nice scrolls we just made and some gold candlesticks in various sizes with tapered candles to finish off the look we're going for. the centerpiece on my round table to be different but still complement my theme so I'm just using this gold sleigh that I have and some classic red ball ornaments. Number one.
It's time to set the place settings at each table. I am sure you know there are many ways to set a table these days. I am actually using two different place setting formats today. The one on my formal dining table is set with dinner in mind, and the one I will be doing on my round table, which you will see in just a bit, will be more of a brunch setup. If you are hosting this holiday season and may be wondering what place setting format to use, I always suggest going with one that makes the most sense for the meal that you plan to serve. Just in case you're looking for ideas after I get both tables set, I will show you an up close look at the two different place setting formats that I'm using here. I decided to try and subtly tie in the rest of my holiday design downstairs with these gold bells and red velvet ribbon tied around the napkins in place of napkin rings. Now setting my breakfast room table, since this is a smaller table with fewer place settings, I thought I would set it today with Christmas brunch in mind. Oh, it's Christmas time, I feel sad I can't help it, got you on my mind, I don't know how to call this, because it's Christmas time. Here's a closer look at the two different place setting formats that we set today. Christmas time 
so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope that you were having an absolutely wonderful holiday season so far. I will see you again soon with another video. Until then, happy decorating! You keep me up all night. I try to figure this out. Yes, I did.